So in this episode, I'm gonna share with you how I got out of debt. Now, before I begin, I just wanna say that I'm not a financial advisor in any way. I'm just gonna share with you my story, what worked for me, and you can take from it what you will. So just to give some context to this, um, when I was 24 working in the police service, I took out about an 8,000 pound loan to invest in myself. Now, the interest rates were great. It was a credit card, I think about 18 months interest free. So, you know, it was pretty okay. However, I did know I had to pay that debt back. It was someone else's money. Um, and the debt in itself, looking back, it was you know good debt because I was actually investing in myself, but nonetheless, still scary, right? So what I did and the action I put behind it, the plan was to accelerate my income. Now we've been taught, um, especially you know my parents taught me this, or, or my uncle and my family taught me this, uh, that when you're in debt, you need to save and put money back. However, if you've got a low paying income, like I did as a detention officer, which was about 25,000 pound at the time, I believe, um, you can live like a peasant for a lot, you know, for a long time, you know, and what I mean by that is you're limited on choices because you haven't got a great income coming in and, um, you know, you're kind of boxed in because, you know, you can't, you can't do anything. Sorry, you've got, you can't go out with your mates. Sorry, you can't take your missus out for you know, uh, a meal or, you know, you can't buy certain things at Christmas, even though you want to for, for your loved ones. So, you know, that was one option. I didn't really go down that. And I knew that I'd get myself in this cycle of, you know, working overtime and, you know, waiting for that one day from the job that I would get paid to pay off a bit of debt. That one was just too long. Now, for anyone who knows me, knows that time is the most valuable thing to me. You know, I'd rather people steal my money than my time. Um, and um, I believe that the quicker I could pay off that debt, the quicker I'd have the options. So the one way I did this was to go on the offense, making sure that I generated another additional stream of income uh, through business. And the plan behind this is very simple. So my living expenses were, you know, let's say for, you know, for, for simple purposes, that they were 10,000 pound, okay? 10,000 pound of expenses. Probably wasn't a high, but just as an example. And, um, you know, I had an income from the job. And what happened by building a business is that the newfound income that I had, I made sure that I did not um, increase my um, my living expenses. Now, I see it time and time again when people get pay rises or they work a bit of overtime, all of a sudden, they go and splurge on shit, they go and buy different things, and they make buying, bad buying decisions, right? Um, because they've got more money coming in. However, something I did was actually keep my living expenses exactly the same, and then the newfound income I put into a savings account, which was higher than actually the police income, um, as well as the savings I was putting by, and I was able to pay that debt off inside a year. Now, I know it might not sound, you know, massive, but for a 24 year old, you're, you're using other people's money at the same time and going into business for the first time, um, you know, it, was, it worked for me. So, you know, just be mindful of the advice you get. Sometimes we get from friends and family, I'm gonna save here, or I'm gonna work more overtime. Well, what happens if you get fired? What happens if you there isn't enough overtime? What happens if you become ill and you can't work overtime? Um, so, you know, one way to do this is to accelerate your income through business, then you've got savings from your job, and you've got savings from your business, which is double. You can then pay off your debt twice as quick, which is gonna give you a lot more freedom and a lot more um, better night's sleep. Now, another benefit in actually um, going into business and you know creating an additional stream of income is that you learn about money a lot more. You learn about cash flow, the revenue, gross profits, net profits, um, you know, and other things, costs and variable costs and fixed costs, everything in your business, which actually helps your personal life too. Now, in my household, I actually uh, run our personal finances like I would a business. You know, I keep eye on things, I make sure you know, the financial literacy is there. And to be honest, you know, that's been a lot more productive in my life than actually whatever I learned at school. So to wrap it up, instead of going on the defense and trying to save, 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 and you know, living payslip to payslip and waiting for that one day and you know, trying to get overtime in the job and putting yourself in a bad environment, um, I would really encourage you to actually go on the offense, create an additional stream of income, keep your living expenses the same, which is gonna ultimately 
double the amount of savings you can make which you can pay off debt. Something I did, it worked very well for me um, and I know it can work well for you as well. So thanks for watching and if you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.